can you tell us a little bit about you know your role as producer of the film and wh how how you were involved in this production? Yes, of course. Um, I'm the guy with cigars in a big, a big, uh, you know, uh, gasket of cash. I'm full <laughs> of cash. No, seriously, um, <clears throat> my production company is really dedicated to uh, like art house films. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sure. So it's really a collaboration between the director and the producer. It's like we're the first people to be involved in a project, and we're the only people that are following the project from scratch until it you know until it's screened in a film festival and sometimes you know we even go to film festivals like <laughs> like here <laughs> well it's a it's a, it's like a suburb of quebec city you know uh it's just in front of quebec city which is the capital city of uh, the province of quebec it's called Lévis. it's uh, and actually the shipyard that we shot on is a is a real shipyard. We were lucky because it's it's sort of like not in not bankrupt, but almost. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see they have like uh, ships. Maybe you you notice like some ships that are being built. Actually, these ships started to be built like two or three years ago, but then the the people who um, who had bought the the ships they ran out of money. So the. <laughs> And they were the main like the main contract, so they had to uh, shut down the the shipyard at least partially. So that's why we had full access to everything for very few money. That was that was uh, really really good. And the boat that is a good story also the boat where we shot in the inside scenes. Actually, this was shot in a very rusty uh, Swedish uh, ship dated 1967, I think. And it was parked like in front of Montreal to be dismantled, and like um, the, the the person who had bought the ship uh, would uh, would sell the parts, the metal parts to uh, scrap metal, you know, for recycling and stuff. So we knew about it, and we thought, okay, we have to go there, you know, before they start they start demolition. And we managed to do a deal with the the, the, the owner, and he uh, he agreed to sort of postpone the the dismantling of the ship. And we shot four days, I think, inside. Uh, and the last day, <laughs> unfortunately for us, the, the ship was sinking. <laughs> so, <coughs> get the final shot before so, we go under. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then we were, oh my God, maybe the owner like started to dismantle without telling us, you know, by <laughs> night or something. <laughs> we were like, oh my God. And <clears throat> by chance, it was sinking like this and not like this. So we, we, we thought, okay, it's the last day, what, what can we do? I mean, do we put like insurance and then we, we need to find another ship? It's complicated, plus we have to pay, you know, the, the fees for the insurance. And the director wanted, to, um, wanted to, uh, to postpone and have time to think and stuff. And I was like, no way, we have to shoot now. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have money and like, so we just did a sort of a war council and we uh, we thought over the, the 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 scenes and we just decided to like go up <laughs> to uh two uh, mm, two stories two, yeah, two, two stories yeah, stories and uh so we shot while the fi the, the, the ship was uh, was sinking it was kind of crazy and we had to uh, to rush things and like there was security there to check out oh, it was crazy <laughs> No, actually, yes, we do casting for for babies, yeah, and it, they they have to be twins, by the way, because uh, a baby cannot play for a long time. You know, the baby gets tired, and uh, so it has to be twins, so they're they're exactly the same. And you, I mean, you don't do casting like they don't go like we don't <laughs> film them and like say hey, you can cry and like <laughs> smile. You know, we don't do that, of course. We just, you know, see the pictures. Uh, there's a casting agent for, for that. And she sends us like many, many pictures and their age and where they live. Also, we wanted to the babies to be living in Quebec City because it's because part, part of the crew was from Montreal and part of the crew was from uh, Quebec City. So we just wanted to <laughs> minimize the cost of bringing uh, people from Montreal. And the funny thing with those those babies, actually, they're twins, but they're uh, they're girls. That's that's something we d we don't know of course because they're they're, they're babies, <laughs> and we got very lucky because there was uh, they had their uh, different uh, personalities already, and one baby was kind of always crying, <laughs> and the the other one was kind of always happy and like calm and stuff. So 
whenever we wanted to have a scene. Okay, we need a crying baby, so let's get a crying baby. And it worked. Actually, we just we were very, very lucky. 